everybody welcome to another episode of moving minds my name is Amius and this is the interview that takes the biggest brains in tech for a spin around Lisbon and this time I'm joined by Tim Smith hi guys how are you doing so far I'm pretty good my talk is done so I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the day you jumped off the stage right just now. jumped off the stage had a great debate with uh, the chap from Manif um, talking about the future of the car and, and autonomous vehicles this that's a good question what is the future of the cars <laughs> I should know this. I just came off the stage talking about it. <laughs> um, well, I think it's going to be interesting. I think um, the auto industry are looking at n new mobility options. Yeah. So they're looking. They're still looking at the car, of course, but they're looking at other other options: car sharing, autonomous vehicles. Yeah. Uh, even bike sharing and other mobility schemes. So I think that's the auto industry is transitioning into a mobility industry, which is good news, I think. And how fast is that? Probably not as fast as the auto makers would want. Um, there's a lot holding them back. Um, regulation, internal structures, um, procurement, um, even hiring of the right talent, for example. A lot of the innovation is happening in the digital space and user experience. Uh, that's something that the auto industry is not that used to. They're fantastic at making mm -hmm. um, vehicles, the hardware. Okay. I mean, us two, for context, is a digital product studio. So us two is very, very good at creating um, user experiences for games, for apps, virtual reality experiences, always with a user-centered design approach. Mm -hmm. But I mean, us two is maybe best known for its games, <laughs> right. like Monument, Monument Valley. Valley. Right. So, but how does that work with what you do? I mean, well, is there a, a master plane? Uh, that's a, uh, there is a master plan now. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say there was when we started. Um, I mean, the way I always, I mean, we, we do games very well, as you just alluded to. We do work in health, we work in fintech, we work in auto, that's what I head up. Mm -hmm. The common theme is user experience. So, it's pretty cool, like two different things, but put it in one company. Well, yeah, I mean, and there's more. We have uh, many other um, arms to our. So it's the S2 business, okay. the Fampany as we call it, which is a mix of family and company. That's nice, I've never heard that before. Yeah. What are some of the most exciting auto trends that you see for this year and for the next? Of course, you've talked already about autonomous driving. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think the in-car HMI again has had a resurgence of interest. Um, you only have to see that the auto companies are showing off the latest tech, not at Geneva Motor Show anymore, but at CES, Consumer Electronics Show. And I think it's because the car is becoming like a gadget, or at least okay. I can see there is a new wave of auto um, uh, or passionate auto drivers mm -hmm. who are less kind of petrol heads and more kind of tech heads. Let's talk about the self-driving cars. I mean, the, yeah, the, the industry has its focus on it for many, many years now, and to make my life easier, but would you say that there is a, a complete sophisticated technology soon? Ooh, um, soon. I'm what not, is soon? But what is soon? I mean, there's so much to autonomy when we look at the whole picture. It's not just about the vehicle itself, but there's a plethora of other things. There's regulation. There's, you know, we're, we're at crosswalk here. How will these pedestrians know to cross in front of a car? There's a lady there who's just engaging with us to, to see if she got permission. Yeah. There's no driver there. How does that exist? There's so many players. There's all sorts trying to, to solve it. Yeah. But do you think that this, um, the, the barriers to this kind of automation are technological or more emotional I don't think it's technology technological I think people are doing that now and they're doing it very well experts yeah. everyone from your car makers to your newcomers like Tesla to Mobileye to um, even investors like Manif who I was on stage with earlier you know mm -hmm. they are developing the technology that I think is sorted that's the easy piece I think the hard piece is the human barriers to adoption so the or as you point it the, the emotional and I think there's a lot of issues around trust. Trust has been speaking a lot about autonomous vehicles, but that comes in many, many flavors. People of certain ages don't trust their safety in a vehicle. People of perhaps my generation don't trust their data with an autonomous vehicle. Yeah. What is a must see during this year's web summit? Of course, the next time when you were on stage, of course. Well, unfortunately, but... I've already been on stage, so yeah, it's too okay. late for that, but okay. uh, maybe next ah! year. Yeah, I mean, I know that there's some great, uh, the auto tech stage, of course for me um, mm -hmm. is incredibly exciting it kind of gradiates from the morning to the evening mm -hmm. um, from sort of AI and artificial intelligence machine learning and, and how that applies to the in-car space 
and I think that's the, the next big thing. In the All right. For more inspiring interviews from the Web Summit, check the hashtag YourSummit. Oh.